It's Friday and it's nearly noontime on Melrose Mountain. 75 degrees and bright and sunny outside, nice breeze blowing. We've been watching the hummingbirds and just having a good time. Last night we watched a movie that we saw years ago called Facing the Giants, made by Sherwood Pictures, same people that put out the movie Courageous. It's a great movie. It has a great message. That message is nothing is impossible with God, but we need to give him our very best. As I was doing my devotion this morning, I went through a few passages in Proverbs, and I noticed that the message to children is pretty consistent over and over again. Listen to the instruction of your mother. Listen to the instruction of your father. Uh, he who listens and takes discipline is wise. And on and on it goes about listening and learning. About a woman, it talks about how she can tear down her own house in Proverbs 9 and 14. Uh, it over and over again has the same kind of message for a woman about using her life wisely. Oh, there's a lot of messages for men. In Proverbs 5, it really covers three different issues for men. If a man wants to be wise and godly, he needs to be careful of lust, being lazy, and loot. That's lust, lazy, and loot. Yes, we can be very materially driven. We can be very careless about our lives and, and the things that we think. And we can get lazy if we're not careful. And God deserves our best. That was one of the themes of the movie uh, as we were there. There's a window behind me and there was a person waving in the window. Did you see her? Well, anyway, uh, last night when we were watching uh, Facing the Giants, one of the messages was not to be lazy. Do our very best for the Lord. And that brings me to the scripture text for today. If anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives it to all generously and without reproach. Ask for wisdom if you lack wisdom. But you know, it's really interesting because I just spent a few minutes in Proverbs and it already indicated how there's much, much wisdom in just the book of Proverbs. One book out of the entire Bible and it has so much wisdom in it. So that brings us to verse 22 in James chapter 1. Prove yourselves doers of the word and not merely hearers, or in this case, readers, who delude themselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his natural face in the mirror. And for once he has looked at himself and gone away, he immediately has forgotten what kind of person he was. <laughs> A lot of truth in that, isn't there? If we're going to be hearers or readers only and not doers of the word, we're really foolish. It's like looking and finding a truth, knowing it's true, knowing that we should do it, and then not doing it. Well, I hope that you'll think about that today. I hope that you'll think about how easy it is to be a hearer or a reader and not a doer. As a matter of fact, as I was scrolling through Proverbs, I thought to myself, here's an interesting verse in Proverbs. It says, he who wins souls is wise. And I thought about all of those people last Sunday who recommitted themselves to sharing their faith. And I thought, you know, I need just to bow my head right now and ask God to give them divine appointments that they would have the courage to share their faith with others so that this coming Sunday, when they meet together again in church, they'll be able to share how they were obedient to God's word shared their faith, and won souls. Don't be hearers only, or in this case, readers only, but be doers of God's word. We don't need to pray a lot for wisdom. Although it's wise to pray for wisdom, there's a lot of wisdom that we see every day. We need to be careful that we don't just look in the mirror and then forget what we saw. We need to remember what God said. Children, listen to the instruction of your parents. Women, be careful that you're not tearing down your house, but that you're building it up. Men, be careful of lust, laziness, and loot. They'll tear you down every time. Don't just be hearers. Be doers of the word. God bless you and have a great day.